What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. If you are new at this place that we call about trout, I do fly fishing how-tos, gear reviews, vlog stuff. Tom went to Harvard and then dropped out to become a rapper. And the nature of today's video, we're tying. You guys let me know that's what you want. I'm here to give the people what they want. I'm the people's fly tying champion and uh, heavy lies the crown, right? So we're gonna do a thread Frenchie variation today. Um, it's really quick to tie um, and it's caught a lot of fish for me. It's just an all around staple in my box. And uh, like, I think you guys are absolutely gonna love it. Um, shout out to my guy, Josie Fly in South Africa. Um, hope you got those stickers by the way. But he put up a version of this parallel thinking there. There is, doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure out you can tie a thread Frenchie and hit it with some golf resin. And that's exactly what we're gonna do today. So great pattern. I know you're gonna love it. And uh, if you're having trouble with dubbing ice dub, this is gonna alleviate that for you. So let's get this party started. I have a size 18 falling mill jig short in the vise matched with a 2.4 millimeter tungsten slotted bead, also falling mill. I have size 18 aught Semperfly Nano Silk in brown. So I'm just gonna come right behind here and start my thread wraps. Now, yeah, it might not look the best because I have a camera sitting right in front of my face. So if there's a little bit of slop in this tying, I apologize, but I really can't stand fly tying videos not shot from the tire's perspective. We're gonna take this thread and wrap it back to about where the barb should be. All right. Next, we're gonna grab some Coke de Leon. Um, I'm gonna use anywhere from four to six fibers. So when I'm working with Coke, I just wanna come in here, line up my tips before I do it. So that's about, that's four, that's four or five right there. So make sure they're nice and even. Pinch and then I'm gonna trim. And for these tails, I like them to be about three quarters of the shank length. This first wrap's just gonna kind of hold them while I get them where I want them. That looks good. Just make sure that I want them right on top of the hook shank. It could actually be just a hair longer. Is a fish really gonna care? No, not at all. But I care. Someone once told me it's a terrible thing not to care. And I agree. So we're just gonna wrap these butt, the butts of the Coke right towards uh, behind the bead. That looks hideous, but it doesn't matter because I'm just gonna trim it. That also looks like trash and I'm sure it's irking a lot of you guys, but hey, don't worry because you're never gonna see it. I'm gonna take some brassy wire. There's some ultra wire in size brassy, sculpin olive. And I'm gonna take this wire and I'm gonna jam it right into the bead. And with some of these slotted beads, you wanna make sure the wire is not sticking out on the eye. This is wild. This is my first time really doing this where I'm like watching the camera instead of watching the fly. I just can't, I can't do it. Sweet, nice touching wraps, those stray fibers are gone. So I'm just gonna come in here, do a half hitch, just because I'm tying for YouTube. Um, if I was doing this the night before a guide trip, I would skip this entirely. But we're just gonna use the rotary feature, get those nice, nice wire wraps. And I'm gonna wrap to right up and behind the bead. Um, on this, you know, with a 2.4, it's a little bigger than what like the matched bead size would be, but who cares? You're gonna get small profile with more, more sink. So wrapping the bead all the way up is going to, uh, 
is gonna keep that bead in place. So at this point, we're pretty much, we're done with the thread. So I'm just gonna whip finish. And I'm gonna throw a second whip finish in there. Getting crazy with the whip finishes. Come back in here and trim. So now we're gonna use some Solar as Bone Dry. So I'm just gonna just hit it. And you're, we're not trying to build like a body, like a paradigm. This is really the, this is a thread Frenchie. The only difference is instead of dubbing, what I'm gonna do is just add a hot spot with some golf resin. So once I have it, you can see that the resin has kind of filled in some of the gaps. So I can just kind of touch it and get it away. Now don't, don't, don't cook it with your light on your finger, it'll burn. But gonna hit it with my UV, my Yoon, my Luna light. Just 10 seconds is all you need. So at this point, I mean, this will still fish if you just want to give up, but we're not quitters here in about trout. Now what you need is some Gulf Ambulance resin, wherever that went, let me find it. Nah, it's right in front of my face. So I'm using Gulf Ambulance resin and fluorescent orange. What I've noticed with this stuff is sometimes it's gonna like, it'll get kind of runny. So I'll just take like a business card and I'll put it down on my desk And that way I can mix it up with a bodkin. So I'm gonna squeeze it out. It's cold. Less is definitely more with this stuff. I'm gonna grab my bodkin. I can't find my loon bodkin, so obviously minus 10 tying points. So I'm just gonna pick it up with my bodkin. I'm gonna come right behind the bead and just create, just like a paradigm, a little wing pad. So this got cold, it gets, so it's a little hard to work with. I'm sitting next to a radiator, so I'm gonna throw that business card right on there. And then with this stuff, if you're gonna get uptight about it being in the bead, you can kind of wipe it away. There it is, see that nice, beautiful orange wing bud? Perfect. So now I'm gonna come just cook this with the light. Ooh, look at it fluorescing. Same thing with the uh, with the solar as it'll cure pretty quick. That's good. Look at that. Pat yourselves on the back. You just tied a thread Frenchie variation. That will catch fish all day long. Love it, fish it. Let me know how it does for you guys. Really hope you dug this video. Remember to comment, like, and subscribe. Hit all those fancy buttons, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye.